What's going on everyone, it's your boy Zero Designs here and today uh, we're going to be cutting out our image in the third part of our uh, tutorial, so uh, tutorial series actually and the best thing to do uh, to use when doing this is having a good uh, resolution image, a uh, graphics tablet and or a good mouse and I don't have a good mouse and or tablet, I'm, ga I'm getting one soon uh, but uh, not at the moment and I did want to get this video out so and I also have quite shaky hands but uh, we should we should be able to manage right now so uh, first thing you want to do is you want to work with masks so once you have your image uh, let's make sure we have a mask you can do this by uh, going over here and you can see all this kind of uh, you know this kind of menu down here and you got to choose the one uh, kind of the plain with a circle in the middle it says add layer mask and we have that and now what we want to do is have a brush real quick and make it hardness 100 and check the size let's make it a bit bigger about uh, this size will be right and as you can see our mask is white so what it what it, this means is everything that is white is visible everything that is black isn't visible so as you can see uh, if we select our mask and actually use our brush you can see it doesn't it, it isn't visible anymore and as you can see you kind of can see some things over here and what you got to do is make sure the opacity is 100 percent so what I want to do real quick is just create a new layer and fill it up with let's say white there we go uh, so we have a background layer and then we go back to our mask and just keep brushing kind of the stuff that we don't need at all uh, that we know we don't need and we can just get rid of really quickly I'm um, sorry I got a bit too close there <laughs> so you want to make sure not to get too close but you kind of want to get rid of unnecessary edges that we're not even going to be close to using um, because you know it kind of clears up your workspace so now that we have this kind of render what what are we going to do so the tool that I use for this is the pen tool which you can find um, right here right down here up, uh, above the text tool and let's start real real quick really let's start by cutting out the pause right here so just click uh, click again right here uh, and as you can see the kind of paw has a bit of a curve so we can recreate that curve by clicking and holding down our keys so what we want to do now is just click and kind of recreate this path and it doesn't have to be exact because we're going to be fixing it afterwards so let's just go around this paw right here which is nice and kind of uh, straight as you can see um, we can just go around that and kind of use it as a gu guideline for our pen tool so as you can see this is kind of rounded so I think uh, it's best to do this in one go uh, two goes maybe so right here so it's kind of rounded and right here so we have a rounded paw and let's just continue up here so you know you gotta click when you you gotta click a bit more when you have a little curve of something so let's just show you what we have right now so I'm just gonna go out of our selection kind of and just create a like the plane that we're going to be using oh I'm sorry and let's go up to our part right here make sure we don't damage any of it I'm sorry make sure we don't damage any of the other part so let's make sure we get there quite easily all right so now we what we can do is just make a selection or fill the path or actually make sure that you're on the mask and fill the path with black so as you can see um that's quite nicely removed and yeah that's pretty much what you want to do um throughout the entire time and I'll just do one more just continue right here and 
One thing that I want to show you in a second, which I'm not going to do now, going to do in a, in a second. So I'm just going to cut, cut this out. And yeah, it takes quite a lot of time and a kind of a lot of pain. But uh, if you know, if you want the result, you can go for this or you can just go ahead and skip this episode if you have a um, rendered out image already. So this is how you render kind of out uh, and delete the background of images. Let's make sure we don't select the sand because it's kind of the same color as this uh, side of the pole. Uh, let's make sure that we get kind of everything we need. Let's make this a bit curved so we don't have all straight lines. And you know, most of it is curved actually, so just click and drag pretty much. And it's quite useful because nothing in real life. Oh, yes, by the way, I'm sorry. And because nothing in real life is um, straight. But um, once you have kind of a curve and you click, it's going to create this automatic curve. So let's say you have want this line to be curved, but you don't want the second line to be curved. You want that to be straight. All you have to do is Alt-click this point, and that's going to get rid of the second handle. And then you can click, and it's a straight line. So if you want that. so But, it, but it's pretty handy in rendering because it's kind of creating the lines uh automatically for you and we we are going to run in some problems uh, but I'll explain that in a bit so yeah all right so we have this kind of a uh, poll rendered out as well and it is quite time consuming I'll admit that oh I'm sorry uh, I used kind of the method I normally use to delete stuff uh, because I'm not really used to using some masks, uh, but uh, you definitely should because um, deleting is destructive and you can't get the pixels back, but um, masking isn't destructive, so um, you know, it isn't uh, deleting the pixels, it's only hiding them, if you should say. So, as you can see, we kind of have this, uh, this paw rendered out, it's pretty, pretty nice, pretty good. Um, but uh, if you use this technique, you're going to run into a lot of problems. And one of them is going to be the tail. Because it's hair and it's going to... You, you're not able to, to render this out. So what, what you're going to do is you're just going to render out a rough shape of this. And I'll explain next episode in which we're going to be recreating this again. And we're just... Um, going to get let's just take it a bit more detail really but it, it shouldn't be necessary but let's just uh, get kind of this shape and because we're not actually using the hair what we're going to do is we're going to kind of get out the basic shape and then kind of uh, how should I put it how should I put it into words Recreating, um, let's make sure we end it well though, uh, kind of recreating our tail using brushes and we're going to actually just delete the hair and put it back on again. So if you kind of understand what I mean uh, right there. So I actually done this wrong. I shouldn't connect that. I should just go around and then connect it like this because I kind of did it the wrong way around so yeah that's pretty much what we're going to be doing um, just make it um, or sorry make sure you select the mask and black again so as you can see this this is no tail and uh, I'll give you that that is no tail but uh, what we're going to be doing we're going to be uh, doing this next episode we're going to be doing a a hairbrush and we're going to be removing parts of it and adding parts of it so we can make it look realistic as well and this counts as well for over here we're going to be using some um, hair so I'm just gonna speed the rest of the video up and do I actually record the sound yes I do and yes uh, if I run into anything that uh, causes problems I'll 
make sure to notice it and start talking again. So I thank you guys for now and I'll see you guys soon. Everything we had I'm done with fighting, done with fixing Enough of being sad And the lights are hurting But they make me feel free They have done more Than you ever did for me You should know better Than to cheat and be untrue I used to care and now I don't give a damn about you Cause now